How's it going, everyone? Just some gigantic news dropped today. I guess I'll just start off with the big one. Yes, Modern Warfare 2, that's gonna be the name of it, and that is gonna be this year's Call of Duty. We're also getting Warzone 2 the same day, which is also really neat. They're like actually gonna try like, you know, make it like work better with like multiple games because they're gonna like actually make it their its own thing this time. Thank God. I was like worried that they were just gonna like, combine it again. I don't know, I don't play Warzone that much, but whatever, that's beside the point. This is meant to be like a short video. They also, just to put it simply, they acknowledge like everything that's wrong with the game right now. Like all this stuff that we think are oversights. They like explain literally all of it, what the problems are. Some like the highlights include the fact that they, that they didn't include FOV slider on last year because they couldn't make it work with those versions of the engines. Like the stuff that, that they used in MW 2019 and Cold War, those engines specifically, they couldn't make FOV slider work on last gen. Uh, next gen, they didn't include it because, quote, it, like it'd be unfair to include it. I don't understand that. If, if they think it's so unfair, they should just remove it from PC. So I don't know. I don't know what the big deal is. They are supposedly just like completely removing last gen support for Modern Warfare 2, which is honestly a relief. I, I'm glad they're doing that so early. Three minutes ago, at least according to Charlie Intel, this call was like forever ago. They are not adding jetpacks. They're not interested in jetpacks. I feel like every, that IW trailer just like forever left an awful taste in their mouth, which honestly I don't blame them. The most disliked game trailer in all of YouTube, and just like one of the most disliked videos on all of YouTube, like it was like, I think it was like top five. Or no, I think it was like the third most disliked video on YouTube when it first came out. It was absolutely insane. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if I just don't want that to happen again. Jetpacks are just like overall oddly controversial on Call of Duty, so I, I can see why they're not doing it. Oh yeah, new engine for MW22, by the way. They said new engine, so I, I assume by that they mean like from the ground up again. Are they gonna be like a ton of updates and I'm just gonna copy and paste? Which is really a relief. I really love this game, it's really good. I'm sorry, that was an awful kill. It's gonna be a new sandbox mode. I don't know what that means. Maybe they're gonna have building mechanics. Like in Fortnite, I love Fortnite, but who knows. It's mostly just up to interpretation at this point. It's also kind of a relief that we're even getting these announcements so early in, in the year, right? Like, for God's sakes, they, they usually announce this kind of stuff in April, right? Or, like, maybe March if we're lucky, but it's, it's like, February. It's, like, the first half of February. Years isn't even, like, 50% done. They're already announcing this kind of stuff. It's absolutely incredible. Call of Duty did actually make a, quote, special briefing. I literally just found this out, like, while recording, so I don't know if that's, like, a video or, like, an article. I'll link to it in the description, though, in case you're interested. It's, it probably goes into far more detail than whatever the hell I'm going through right now. Wow, that was terrible, I'm sorry. Warzone 2 is also going to be developed basically entirely by Infinity War for the first year. We, we have no clue if it's going to be Raven again afterwards. We really hope not. That would suck ass. No hate to Raven, of course, but like, come on. Just let Infinity War do Warzone. They did it pretty good. Like, at least better than whatever it is now. Yeah, I'm not finishing this game. Uh, that's... I think that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching.